Shopaholics Anonymous here. I did more shopping and well, this is what I ended up getting. Now everything was kind of like discounted items, obviously especially like Shein items. So I figured I would do a kind of like discounted deals day haul and I might do another one because I heard that Ross is doing crazy like sales and I'm going in one day? Tomorrow. I'm going tomorrow to Ross to see if there's any of those crazy deals. So if there is and I get a bunch of stuff, I'll do more hauls. But in general, I do hauls a lot. So let's just see what I end up getting. They're in no particular order. So I'm just going to kind of pick and choose between the different bins. But hold on. Let me get a thumbnail while I was in that cute position. Okay, let's try to get a thumbnail together. One eternity later. Okay, so everything is from Shein. Target, Victoria's Secret, and I think I might have some Amazon in here. And everything basically was on sale or like a cheaper type of item. So let's bust into here. Oh wait, I say that, but there's one item that I did pay full price for, and it's this one, and it's super cute. It's one of, I think, the newer ones from Target, and it's like a tank top, almost like sports bra top, because it does have like a built-in bra, but like the good kind that looks good and looks cute and like seamless, and so I got this. It was $20. I probably wouldn't have bought it if I read the price tag, but I didn't realize it was $20, so I got it, and it's super cute, and honestly, I wanted all the colors, but I didn't see it, so maybe they'll come out with it, but either way, I love it. Wish I had more colors, and then I also got sports bras, which is the main reason why I was there. And it's because my surgeon has determined that I get nowhere near enough sports bra, like sport sports bra support and he wants me basically having those girls as tight as humanly possible because if you didn't know I just got my boobs done I got them done November 1st to be exact and I did a whole entire series on it so you can check out those videos but either way it means I'm in need for figuring out sports bras but high support sports bras are so overpriced and expensive so I figured I would start with Target because they seem to be a little bit of a better price and then these ones were on great sale so I got this one I probably wouldn't normally get this bright of a pink but I think it actually looks great in activewear so I got this one it is great Great high support. It's got a cute like back to it, like a crossbody back, but it's not like a normal crossbody back. It's like a similar back but with a cross design and then the zipper in the front, but it is definitely high support. I love this one. It was on sale for seven dollars and like 20 cents, so I had to get it. It was adorable. Wish they had more colors that were that price, but they did have this style, which is supposed to be the same style, but they look different. Like they have a different back. Because the back is like this, which obviously is a very different design, and it's also got like the mesh detailing, and then it has like a camo-ish print, I don't even know what you would call it, but it looks like that, so it's definitely different, but this one was counted as the same in a different color, and obviously it has that cute front to it, but this one was on sale for $12 and something cents, which obviously is a little bit more expensive, but still a pretty good deal for a high sport sports bra. Now, I do have a few more activewear stuff, but let's move away from that for a moment and get to the, some of these Shein items. I am so excited about this order, because obviously they, they have discounted items, and some of their stuff is just such good quality for such a good price, and you may be against Shein, for Shein, but either way, let's see what I got because my bank account is for Shein because I cannot afford these prices nowadays and also because I spend too much money. But either way, it comes with a glasses case. So I bought sunglasses, comes with a glasses case, comes with a little like glasses wipe, but let's see the pairs I got. I got two of them. Here we go. This one is the more like fancier look. I don't even know if that would technically be like what you'd say, but they're a metal look. So they have the metal sides and then the fronts look like this. I think they're super cute. I can't remember how much they were, but they were all under $15. So here's this pair right here. I think they're super cute. I think they fit the frame of my face. Like this isn't the normal style shape that I get, but I liked them. So I was like, yes, please. So I got that pair. It comes with a case. And then I got this pair, which also came with a case. And I'm so glad both of them were the ones that didn't say Shein on the front. I know that's bad because I know I'm buying it from Shein, but I don't really need to advertise that I'm buying it from Shein, you know? I am nothing against cheap things. I am the first person to be like, I got it for $3 and be excited about it. I'm not one of those people like, I spent $500 on it. No, I'm the person that will tell you it's discounted, but it still doesn't mean I want to advertise it. Like I wouldn't wear a shirt that says Shein across the front, you know what I mean? So I'm glad that the glasses case do not have them. So this one again comes with the same type of case and they're convenient to have to be able to throw in your purse and not scratch up your sunglasses because I'm the worst when it comes to sunglasses. I scratch them, I break them, I'm not good with them. But that's this pair and then this pair has like plastic sides. I'm not a fan of that detailing right there but other than that I like them. They are huge and oversized so 
obviously a lot bigger, a lot different of a style than the other ones. And oh my goodness, I can see so much better in my room with these on. It's sad. I think we forget how bright rooms sometimes are. Like, yeah, we're inside, but it doesn't mean I don't have a giant window right here. So I'm like, oh, I can see so much clearer now. Maybe I should wear sunglasses more often. But either way, there's that bear right there. Also gives that like orange tint that I feel like the world looks prettier with an orange tint. Oh, but here is one of the sports bras I got from Amazon. I think it's one I'm gonna keep because I bought a bunch of sports bras. They were high support to try to try on to see if I like them. I love the ones from Target, but they have a very limited selection of high support. So I kind of bought all their high support ones already. So I wanted different styles. And this one is a high support one from Amazon, like a random Amazon brand. It has like a little mesh detailing on the top. I don't know if you can see that right there. But it looks like that. I think it's super cute on. The only thing is it's a little bit short. So it doesn't it doesn't go really past the under boob. And sometimes it rides up a bit. So you know what I mean? Like I kind of want a little bit more room for moving. But it doesn't have that. But it is high support supposedly. And it has that cross back. So we'll see if I keep it. Again, it's just... There's not much under the boob going on. Maybe I should have gotten a bigger size, but then it wouldn't be as tight as I wanted it. And then here are a few sports bras. Actually, let's go over to regular bras for a second, and then we'll go back over to this. So, regular bras. I went to Victoria's Secret because, again, I just got my boobs done, so I need bras again. And I got this bra right here. It doesn't have a cross normally. Like, it has the clip so you can make a cross back if you wanted to. And, again, my boobs look great in it, but I just got literally all black sports bras. I mean, all black regular bras. So, just a regular bra to go under stuff. This one's more of a comfy one without underwire. Then I got one with underwire and it's like the deep V look. So it literally goes flat against your chest, which I kind of like. It's better for like dressing up. And it has a clips again where you could make a cross back if you wanted to. This one has no padding at all. And then almost the same one is the one without the underwire. Again, it's just like a comfy everyday bra. I just got three different styles that are almost the same from Victoria's Secret because they had their sale, so it was like a great discount. And then I have a friend that works there, so we also got 50% off. So it was a really good deal. And then you got, if you spent, spent enough money, you got a little bag and a blanket. So I also got Got this bag with it and then a blanket and either way I never wear bras now I have to but I'm mostly in a sports bra most of the time like today so let's open up some Shein stuff because I feel like I have five gazillion bras in front of me for a person that's literally like no bras hate bras I have a whole video on the fact that I gave up bras years ago but now with implants things are a little bit different and I haven't seen most of the Shein stuff here so we're gonna open it up together and be equally shocked I will do try on videos for like TikTok and like shorts but for now, let's see what they look like. So I got this top right here that has these design sleeves. Now this is in a medium because they, my first order got stolen by one of my neighbors, which hate my freaking neighbors for that. But either way, they stole my package. So I finally got a replacement package, thank goodness, because at first they didn't want to give it to me because it said it was delivered. But either way, blabbering aside, when they resent out the order, this was the only one that they didn't have my size anymore, which is a small. So I'm like, can you just send it to me in a medium? Because I actually really do want to try it on. So it's this one right here. I think it'll look cute. We'll see how it looks in a medium. But either way, I try to focus on tops because I'm so bad about not having enough like fun, cool tops that match with things. So I also got this one right here, which I guess isn't really like an everyday top. It's like a cropped activewear top. So I've been doing a workout class three times a week three, I can count, three times a week about. So I figured this would be great for a cover up before class and after class. This one right here. Oh, this is tiny. I knew it was going to be small because it's a crop top, but it's still, I don't know, smaller than I expected it to be. And it has a razor back. Is that what that's called? I think it's called a razor back. And I thought it would be cute. And I figured if I liked it, I was going to get it in more colors, but it's definitely very cropped. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see, but I think it's good. The fabric feels pretty nice. We'll have to see how see-through it looks on, especially with implants, because I have a tiny frame, so when I get a small, even though it stretches to fit over my implants, it's like it can stretch so much that the fabric gets more see-through, so I'll have to see what that looks like on. But everything, again, was a pretty dang good price. This one I'm hoping looks good because, I don't know, I want more fun tops too, because again, I'm just so bad with tops. I just... I, I'm good with dresses, I'm good with pants, but tops, I just don't have enough choices because I feel like everything just looks ugly. I don't know, I just don't like most tops. So I got this top right here to do something out of my comfort zone where it has like a V-neck that crosses over itself and then I like that it had the elastic underneath so it made it a little bit longer than a traditional crop top and then it's long sleeve. So we'll see what it looks like on, I don't know. I have mixed opinions on it if it'll look good or not. 
Here we go. Now let's hop over to this bag right here. I got some Amazon stuff. Oh wait. Oh no, this is more Shein. I forgot some of the Shein stuff that I had already tried on for videos for TikTok, I had put in the bag so I knew that I already tried on those specific ones. This one actually looks super good on. I'm so glad I got it because it was under $3. And it's one of those belts that's like a corset. So it's like almost looks like a corset front, but it's like a stretchy back belt and it has Velcro and it fits perfectly, even though it's one size fits all. And then this top right here is a bit see-through and the sleeves kind of fit a little awkward, but it's almost like an active wear top that has a zip down the front, but it has like a cute gold zip, but it reminds me of almost like active wear, but it's not actually active wear material, but it has like the active leisure look to it and just a black long sleeve and it's actually full length because if you didn't know about Shein, I feel like when you shop online, almost all of their stuff is at least a bit cropped and i am one of those people like sometimes i want the rest of the shirt and that's hard on Shein to get the rest of the shirt so i was glad to find something longer that i can wear more as everyday look but back to sports bras i got this one in two colors don't think i'm going to be keeping really either one of them which one's which this one's this one I might keep the black one, but I feel like all high sport sports bras look like granny bras. So this one right here, again, it has that granny bra look, but it has the mesh on the top. And I kind of like the black one, but the pink one is a huge no for me because I don't, one, I don't know, I just don't like the look of it. And also I feel like all of the lining shows through the fabric on the front and it just doesn't look seamless. And I like the seamless look. And this is not the seamless look. It even has like, I don't know, you can kind of see the stitching. It looks kind of like, I don't know, cheap. But this ones were from Target, but they weren't a Target brand. They were bare necessities on Target. And I will give them, they're very high support. They are a much more affordable option. I just wasn't per se a fan of the look of them. I might keep the black one though. Because again, I just need more support and these really do have the support. This one though is a huge no for me and it's definitely going back. Like it looks fine from the front and I kind of like this like X detailing, but when you look closer, it looks cheap. And also it has this part on the inside, which is like the fabric from the X shape they did. But the problem is this shows through on the front. So when you're wearing this, it looks like you have a giant line across it. Just not a fan of it. And sorry, the lighting keeps changing. It's so bright out and I'm so pale. So it keeps switching around. So my bad, but either way, this one is a definite return and I did get it in black and the black one isn't as crazy showing. So I'll try this one on again. We might keep this one. I don't know mixed opinions on it but last but not least when it comes to sports bras i think this is the last one. Oh no so i bought that gray one two of them because i thought oh maybe i should have double because i didn't have enough sports bras at the time so I'm like it's better just to have another one so i don't have to wash it but now that i've bought more of them i think i'm gonna return it so i kept the tags on it for target and i'll be returning one of them keeping the other one but this bra right here is also from amazon but it's not a sports bra it has clasped in the front and it has like an X in the back. You could wear it as a sports bra, I guess, technically. And it has adjustable straps on the top right here. But either way, it's to wear at nighttime because now I need to wear a bra even at night for my implants to support the girlies. So I chose this because it has the nice binding so it really keeps the girls together. It's more comfortable for nighttime. Actually, the fabric honestly feels so nice. And I think that's all that's in this bag. So let's finish opening up Shein Things. This one, I believe, is another top, most likely, because I bo mostly bought tops this time. Oh, it is not a top. Go figure. The one thing that's, like, basically not a top is the thing that I guess was a top. But this right here, what do you think it is? It's a wrap to wrap my dead body in? No, it's not. It's one of those, like, beach skirts that you just tie. So it's just, like, a sheer thing that goes over, ties in the corner. And I just wanted a simple black one, so a simple black skirt cover-up. And then let's see what else is in here. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I really hope this top looks cute. I think this is one of the ones that was a little bit more expensive comparatively to the other stuff I got. It has a, I forgot what pattern this is called. It has that and then it is a almost full length top. I wouldn't say it's completely full, it's a little bit shorter, but it's almost a full length top. And then let's see if it'll show. It has like a little scrunch right in the center of the cleavage. And I'm hoping that looks good because my boobs are really far apart and they're especially far apart now that they've gotten bigger from implants. So there's kind of like a gap in between my boobs. And I was like, oh, that little scrunching detail might look cute in the gaps between my boobs. So I was like, you know what? I think this would be good. And it's nice and soft. It's definitely a bit see-through, but we'll have to see what it looks like on. I have high hopes. It does have little scrunchy things on the sleeve, little scrunchy scrunch sleeves, but either way, 
that I think will look good. I'll see what it looks like on. I will definitely show you guys in shorts and TikToks. But let's see what else is in here. Oh, this is going to be another one that's tiny. I got another crop top. And it has a little slit in the top. I'm hoping that's going to look kind of cute. And then this one right here. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this one. This one feels a little bit more cheaper. But it is one of those swoop necks that go like this. And it has like an open back. And then a slit right here with a zipper. So you can go as low as you want to go. So I'm hoping it'll look good with like cleavage and an open back. But we'll have to see how it looks. Because the material is very like cheap like discount mall store I don't know if you know what I'm talking about like that discount store where yeah either way it reminds me of what everybody thinks Shein would be like that's what this material feels like and most of Shein stuff honestly is better than people think it is but this is one of those items where I can understand why you think Shein prices stuff the way it does because this feels kind of cheap I still might like it but it feels very cheap and it looks cheap and this is oh I think this is the last thing I ordered from Shein. And these are my recent purchases, but I definitely have more recent purchases than this. This is just what I collected for this video, so don't judge me. But I really appreciate it. Before we do this last one, for you to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Come on, just hit those two buttons. It is really quick and easy, completely free. It really helps me out. And I do new videos every single Wednesday, helping you figure out adulting while I'm attempting to figure it out myself. And currently I'm spending too much money on shopping and sharing it with you guys to make myself feel like a little bit better about it. It has a purpose now. I showed it on the internet. Now, now it makes it better, right? Either way, let's go to the last item before I feel guilty, okay? <laughs> I'm still not broke or anything, but I still am spending way more money than I should be. But either way, there's this top right here, which again, it's one of the ones with sleeves. It has like a sheer sleeve. It has a scrunch on the top shoulder and you could wear it like this or over your shoulder. And then it has a scrunched middle. I think it's gonna look super cute. It's like a more dressed up crop top. But again, it is a crop top because she does not sell full size shirts hardly ever to never. Like there's only a few things on the website that aren't cropped. So this is again one of the cropped ones, but I think it'll look cute, more dressed up, maybe a date outfit. But either way, that is everything I got. My floor is an epic mess, so I hope you have a great rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you. I'll see you Wednesday.